know, on the first day of shooting, we were actually on the Zurich building opposite the Bank of Spain. It's very strange when you're on the top of the building in, in the center of Madrid, we're at the M M Metropolis building, uh, looking down on the Bank of Spain, and I'm looking through my binoculars and kind of going, this is very strange. <laughs> I think it's the mix of action and adventure. Exciting action sequences, but mixed with character drama. A good bank, a good team robbing a bank, is, it's never going to be boring. This film had a lot of the, that, those old school qualities, I thought. Yo soy espectador de este tipo de películas y realmente lo que estoy esperando todo el rato es que me den lo que lo que realmente espero que me den, ¿no? I want you to help me break into the vault of the most secure location in the world. <laughs> that you're gonna see the care and this passion on the film. No regrets. No regrets. En este caso hemos disfrutado tanto que creo que que ha sido como una maravilla de, de rodaje. And it's exciting and thrilling and everything what you need in two hours. Claro que hay que ver a Way Down. <laughs> it's a, a good heist movie. Um, that, those are always fun. Don't miss it. Que va a disfrutar como un niño. Es una película muy distinta. Maximum Tension. Weron es una película que, que está parida como un blockbuster americano, pero es una película nuestra. Cualquier espectador puede sentarse, verla de principio a fin, no tiene ninguna necesidad de estar pensando en que le quedan cuatro temporadas más para ver, sino que todo lo que tenemos lo va a ver en una hora y media. Y es un, es un batido espectacular de frutas maravillosas. ¡Stop! It's a movie for everybody. Y que salga de cine con una sonrisa y diciendo uh, qué bien nos lo hemos pasado, ¿no? The War Room. Hello. Hey. You are very welcome. Meet the team. In the control booth, our computer whiz, Klaus. Hi. Hi. On my right, James, my colleague and friend of 10 years. Planning, entry, extraction. He'll be leading the salvage. Buenos dias. Look at this beauty. Not even on the market. 3D printer? Yeah. Simone, acquisitions. I'm the guy who can get things. If you need something, just tell me. Tom, one of the world's brightest minds and hopefully the key to our success. He hasn't even mastered shaving and he's gonna mastermind the infiltration. Mastermind? Yeah, to succeed where all others have failed takes a mastermind. Ooh. Bank of Spain, one of the most impenetrable buildings on the planet. Every inch of the interior is covered by cameras and sensors. Any unauthorized movement brings the rapid fire of the 15 guards stationed within. Across the street is the headquarters of the Spanish army, a garrison of 500 on alert for any attacks on the city or any attempts on the bank. If that wasn't enough, Gustavo Medina, chief of security, former head of Spain's anti-terrorist task force. What we call here, un verdadero hijo de puta. If he makes us, the job's off. How are you getting in? From below, there are more tunnels under Madrid than streets from above. James and Simon are mapping the route. We're not there yet, but we're close. And this supposed to be the vault? This was a sketch done by an ex-employee who was in the vault for a few minutes in 1944. And this? It's some sort of engraving. They favored aesthetics in functional architecture in the 19th century. Catholic imagery, probably a martyr. 
very Spanish. This is apparently a bridge, and that gives us access to the vault door. That requires two actual keys and Gustavo Medina's thumbprint. Claudia Valenti, our art expert, whom you've met, will take care of it. Sounds like you've got it covered. Not even close. The vault is safety rigged, but we don't know how. If we don't shut down the failsafe when we enter the vault, then we're not coming out. That's the miracle of engineering that you need to identify and solve. This is the ground floor of the bank. There's a few hundred feet of earth and rock, and then this part, soft wavy lines out of focus. This is the vault, and then an empty chamber below it. The model's all hard lines, precision. I just don't understand why this part isn't. Maybe the scanner shifted. No, below it's solid. The scanner just can't figure out what to put in focus. Water. It's a tank of water, the soft part. The vault sits under a tank of water. Shit, he's right. Explain. The water's the trap. The tank funnels through these pipes here, flooding the vault. Yeah, but that doesn't stop someone robbing it. You could swim in or scuba. No, no, because of the empty chamber under the vault. You see these teeth here, either side? That's an actuator. Gears, rack and pinion gears. When the vault floods, the whole thing sinks down into the chamber. And if it's in the chamber, no one gets in or out. of you the whole time. The engraving. It's not a martyr. Justice. Exactly. Lady Justice. So? So, when they built this, they didn't have sensors, motion detectors, but they did have scales. If there's the slightest change of weight in the vault, the whole thing floods and sinks. And if you're inside, the vault dispenses its own justice. It drowns you. The vault. The miracle of engineering. It's one giant weighing scale. And it's genius. A giant scales. So what's the solution? I don't know. But we know what the problem is. Es una película que eh, parte de una llamada a la aventura. A mí también eh, me vinieron un día los productores muy entusiasmados con un proyecto que me ofrecieron, porque era un proyecto eh, complicado, era un proyecto difícil, eh, muy ambicioso, y yo me dejé llevar por la aventura. He chooses the adventure. It's a story of a family, in a way, this family of individuals who come together to, to rob a bank. Yo creo que es un sueño recurrente en cualquier mortal, ¿no? Un día poder robar un banco, ¿no? Pero justamente el truco es darle una vuelta a una receta que está más que probada. Es un 2010 en el que estaba ocurriendo cosas alucinantes en España y la gran mayoría de los espectadores, al menos de aquí, sabrán de qué hablo. <ríe> y digamos, en todo ese entorno que es tan, tan especial, unos tipos que están un poco locos deciden eh, asaltar el Banco de España. ¿no? And making it extremely difficult. La leyenda dice que hay un depósito de agua debajo de la fuente de las Cibeles que en el momento que tú intentas acceder a la caja fuerte, la caja fuerte se inunda. The Bank of Spain, there's cameras, sensors everywhere. The head of the anti-terrorist unit is there. When you look at it, it's impossible. Entonces, la única manera de hacer eh, esta operación es hacerlo durante un momento de máxima vulnerabilidad. Es el único momento de máxima vulnerabilidad de este banco, que es durante el Mundial mmm, de Fútbol de 2010. Es decir, hay como dos partidos simultáneos. Hay dos, dos juegos simultáneos y eso a mí me, me fascinaba. ¿Cómo podemos 
replicar lo que sucedió en el año 2010 en el centro de Madrid, en, en la Plaza Cibeles. Adelantarme y luego desplegarse. Sí. Eso sería con la cámara de Pepe. Es decir, de la salida de Metro Banco de España está saliendo gente que va a la Plaza Cibeles a ver el partido. Había que cortar el centro de Madrid, había que disponer de toda la Plaza Cibeles y los, y, y los alrededores para poder hacerlo. Teníamos que disponer de, de, de miles de, de, de figurantes y volver a reconstruir a, a, a aquel hecho, ¿no? a aquel evento. Y ha sido maravilloso ver cómo horas, semanas de preparación han culminado en que todo vaya como un reloj. ¡Preparados! Yo el primer día de rodaje que teníamos eh, cortada toda la castellana, cibeles, mil y pico personas de figuración, dije guau. ¡Acción! Tuvimos que rodarlo en un solo día. Cuando me dijeron, sí, tenemos el permiso para hacerlo, yo realmente respiré y dije, no, o sea, no me creo que hayáis conseguido lo que habéis conseguido. Los productores en ese sentido sobresalieron de una forma fascinante en el porque, porque consiguieron lo inconseguible, digamos, ¿no? Que es que nos dejaran cerrar, como dices, eh, durante una jornada entera al centro de Madrid para hacer una película, ¿no? Y que salga del cine con una sonrisa y diciendo, eh, uy, qué bien nos lo hemos pasado, ¿no? No entra ni sale nadie del banco hasta que yo de la orden. They're moving everybody to the foyer. You call them. Save still, open them, the keys in my hand. Miss Valenti, Miss Valenti, please wait, please. Thank you. Well, I'm calling it time to panic. Simon, I need you to go to the Comptroller's office. That's the problem. I'm in the foyer. I'm not. Where are you, Tom? What are the stairs? What do you need me to do? How's your cutting arm, Tom? Absolutely terrible. Lorraine is going to throw you a key and you're going to have to catch it. There's no margin for error. If it hits the floor, we're all screwed. Lorraine, on three, two, one, now. 